Well, if your New Year's resolution is to get back in shape, doctors are encouraging you to stay away from some of the diet fads. 41 NBC's Tanya Motorzitsky has more ways to achieve your fitness goals in 2020. Whether you're getting a gym membership or making healthier choices in the kitchen, health professionals are encouraging a healthy lifestyle without picking up diet fads that may be more harmful than good. Seeing a lot of trends focusing on what we call deprivation diets, so things like the ketogenic diet, intermittent fasting, really where people are trying to eliminate entire food groups or groups of foods to, to try to achieve weight loss. Dietitian Millie Smith says diets like keto that eliminate food groups run the risk of lacking nutrients. We really are guilty here of inflating portion sizes. Uh, and so really what I tell people is maybe just look at having your dinner on a salad plate instead of on a dinner plate. Look at different ways that you can have a smaller portion of food and still be satisfied. She says keto pushes a high protein diet, which is harmful to kidneys. Personal trainer Lauren Freeman says stick to a traditional healthy diet. Eat your proteins, eat your complex carbs, and eat your veggies, and just try to stick to that diet. If you end up having a cheat day, that's fine. Don't worry about it. Don't stress over it. Just get back on the diet. For those just starting to work out, trainer Kevin Keller says get started on machines or fitness group classes. So they don't hurt themselves, and then once they're in these group classes, if they want to go out into the weight floor, they know what they're doing. They know their proper in Macon, Tanya Motorzitski, 41 NBC News. And dietitian Millie Smith says to track your food intake, you can download apps like MyFitnessPal and lose it.